Hi guys, this is Rohan and you are watching a video in the series of uh, SQL interview question and answers. In this video, I will show you how to write SQL query to find out the top and the salary for each department. So here is the problem statement. Uh, I have got uh, two different tables, employee and a department. And uh, I wanted to find out who is the employee uh, making third highest salary. For most of my SQL uh, based hands on, I will be making use of all the three different uh, databases. The first one is a SQL Server, MySQL, and also Oracle. Right? Um, so here are uh, those two tables employee and department. Department has department details, and employee has employee details along with the salary field. And uh, the key field here is the department ID. Okay, so let's get uh, started. So we will have to write it uh, in uh, different, um, you know, stages. So I'll show you how uh, exactly, you know, we need to be, you know, doing this. Right. So let's get uh, all the records from employee and join it with the department table. Right. When you join those two tables, you will have to um, join it based on the key field. Right. So for that, uh, we will specify department dot uh, department ID equals EMP dot department ID. So we have made the join. So let's run this query. So now we have all the details from employee table along with that you have department info. So now that we have to find out um, the top salary for each department, right? I want my uh, department name as the first column in the select uh, clause. Right, and we want the salary, right? So before we get into uh, the rank and row number, I just want to show you how this works with some aggregation, right? So whenever we do this, uh, any aggregation, we will have to uh, do a group by based on the uh, other field that you are, uh, you know, doing it. So we will go ahead and add it to the group by. So now uh, we have got all the departments. Along with that, we have got uh, the maximum salary, right? 49,000 is the max salary uh, in this accounting. So if our original ask is to find out the top third one, right? So for that, uh, we'll go ahead and comment this max salary and I'll add row number, um, you know, function here. So this is one of the um, window function. Uh, using which you can actually partition the data uh, based on uh, whatever column you want. So in our case, um, the word we want the partition based on the department name, right? So I made that, and we want to, want to do order by salary in descending fashion. Why? Because we wanted the top salary, right? So that's why. So I'll just need, give it a alias name and uh, let's see uh, how does it look okay so we have got uh, the column name comma and then the row number so now we have got um, the data for each and every uh, department right but the salary information is missing here so for that uh, since we also want to know the employee name i'll just include the first name comma uh, the salary comma and then the row number function so row number function uh, helps us um, you know get the ranking uh, ranking for each salaries which is uh, sorted in a descending fashion so now if you see for each of the department it has printed all the employee names along with their salaries in descending fashion right and now what we need is this particular thing Right, because this is the third, um, you know, top third uh, salary. So, so likewise, I wanted the same thing from all other uh, department as well. So, what we can do is uh, we can treat this entire, um, you know, query as one single sub query. Okay, and then we will um, we'll write one uh, write one main query uh, wherein I'll choose select star from this particular sub query right and i will just add one where clause where my row num is um, i i will show you this way first three 
Um, so what we're doing, uh, we are partitioning the data based on the department name. So let's see what happens. Now we have several entries with this where clause. We should be getting uh, three entries. So okay, so we will have to just uh, give the alias name for our uh, subquery here. Okay, so I have given one um, you know alias name. So let's go ahead and run this query. Okay, so now if you observe. Now uh, there are three entries, three top uh, salaries for each department. So, um, so this is this condition. So if you want to find out only the third, uh, then you just have to remove this uh, condition here. And row number three means it's a top third. And if you probably notice, uh, for accounting, Carlos is making forty thousand, and he is the third highest uh, in a paid employee. So let's see how this condition works out. Right, so for accounting, Carlos, this is the third uh, highest paid salary. So this is one way of uh, doing this uh, using the row number function. Um, and there are uh, several other ways. Uh, let me show you. We can do the same thing using uh, the rank uh, function. The same uh, output you're going to get. For each department, you will get um, first you will generate the rank for based on the salary uh, and department uh, name, and then you apply filter only for uh, the row number three. So three is your nth option. If you want five, you can have five, or if you want two, you can have two. Right. So this is how um, you know it works out. So we'll either basically run a subquery. And then filter on top of it with whatever uh, the n number you have in your mind. So this is one um, way of doing it. And the second way of doing it uh, is by using um, and also, also I'll be making separate video for row number, rank, and dense rank. You know there are uh, very tricky answers. Um, I will be making a separate video so that you know exactly how row number, rank, and dense rank work. Uh, in this you know real time uh, scenario and now i'll use dense rank uh, you can still use and the same result set you're gonna get as long as um, there are no repeated values or duplicates right um, I, i'll be covering more details in the separate uh, video okay so there is another way you can do uh, achieve the similar results uh, using uh, cte with clause right so for that uh, we will have to create a CTE block uh, with this uh, syntax and uh, after this is done all you have to do is select star from CTESRC and I don't this uh, alias for that so we don't need any alias for um, you know CTE tables so CTESRC where the row number is 3 and we will just uh, add this as with the city as so we are using the same uh, subquery that is converted into a CTE block right and after that CTE block is complete we will do select star from uh, the CTE table where my row number is 3 so this will also generate the similar results yes. I will also be sharing all the SQLs and the data set I'm using. Um, you can find my GitHub link uh, in the description box below. Right, so we will take the same query now and uh, I'll show you exactly the same thing, you know, works in uh, MySQL uh, as well. Uh, there are only a few minor tweaks are required. The way you comment in uh, SQL Server is uh, based on the hash. So that will give um, you know the syntax error and we will also give uh, the row number so this is all is required i have the same data set and the same results achieved uh, even in the mysql so likewise you can execute the same query on uh, oracle as well uh, there you may want to choose some other alias instead of uh, row num because row num is a built-in keyword in oracle so but yeah uh, with a very minor tweak uh, you should be able to find out the top n um, you know salary for each department